Hey guys, this is Drone Boy again. Uh, in this episode, I just want to show you how to modify uh, the receiver that came with the Vortec 250 Pro, which is a Spectrum receiver. Uh, you need a Spectrum radio. If uh, in this case, I use my Tyrannus uh, radio, so I need to change that and uh, added the uh, FreeSky D4R2 receiver, change it to the CPPM uh, mode to use with that Tyrannus uh, radio. So that's what I want you to show you how to do that. Uh, I checked a few videos on YouTube, uh, the way how they connect it, they kind of skip a step. And it took me a while to figure this out, but I got it now so, and I want to show this portion, which I think a lot of people kind of go over it really quickly and didn't really um, make sure that uh, the viewer uh, see this. So the Vortec, when it first came out of the box, this connector right here, as you can see, okay, that go to the stock receiver, it's goes right into this port it's connecting to this here this port right here on the flight controller so you have to remove that okay once you remove that then in the box it has a bag that contains two free wired for you this is more of a, a servo wire Okay, as you can see here, white, red, and black, white, red, and black on both sides. The other end is completely different if you look closely. Okay, uh, we get some focus here. They are not the same connector. This is fatter, this guy. A little bit fatter. This is skinnier. This connection, this connector, is the same type as the one that came in the box. Same type. It goes to the same spot here. Same terminal here. And this one is for S bus. Okay, if you use S bus receiver, you use this one and you connect it to that terminal right there. So we're not using that. This receiver for the free sky, the D4R2, using CPPM. To do that, you have to, there's a jumper coming in the package. You take that and you short out uh, pin three and four here, like that, all right? Now this receiver turn into the CP, CPPM, I mean, yeah, uh, CPPM uh, mode. For that, you have to use this connector, the fatter connector. And the signal, the white is on the outside edge, and the, the red and the ground. So the way you connect it is this way, okay? Make sure that's correct polarity. Then you want to connect this to this port right back here. Not this one because it won't fit here. Okay, if you use S bus, you use this connector. They should have labeled this. I guess that's part of the hobby. You figure it out yourself by trial and error. And I actually um, went through that myself. So this one goes here. On the board, if you look closely, this it marks CPPM down here on the board. But if you don't remove this top plate, you have to remove this top plate. If you don't remove it, you will never be able to read that. 
so this one goes right in here then you will get the CPPM recognized by your flight controller so let's do that so now I just uh, connected this to the this port right now it go right to my um, to my receiver free sky receiver here okay so now we're gonna power on and look at the FPV monitor uh, to complete the setup so let's power this on Welcome to OpenTX. Plug in the battery. And it should bind automatically, you can see here. If not, you just have to go through the bind process. I didn't want to cover in this video. But the bind process is pretty simple. Use select the bind mode over in your radio and before you connect when you connect the battery to the quad, hold down this little button here. This little button here, hold it down while you're connecting the battery. And that's turn this receiver into a bind mode. It will bind with your radio. Simple step. This is where a lot of people, um, I kind of search through the YouTube video. People just kind of fly by this connection. They didn't even tell you what what port to connect. Um, it just kind of all of a sudden you see them how they connect it. Uh, it's uh, actually that's a to me it's an important step because you cannot connect to the same port for the CPPM. Okay. So now as you can see there's a green light there. So it's already bound to the radio. So let's look at the FPV. Okay, now we're looking at the, as you can see, here's the FPV of the quad, and here's the Vortec uh, initial setup vision that built into the quad. You don't need to connect it to the um, computer or anything like that. It goes from here. So now what it says right now is that it said that uh, center all control of the radio. So we're going to do that. Okay, you hear the beep, that means you're actually doing what it asks you to do. So it says now move the roll, control left and hold. Uh, roll left and hold. Alright, return to neutral position, move your control left and hold. Turn to neutral, move throttle minimum and hold. Move pitch back and hold. Move stick back and left. Left stick back and left. Lower quad and move right stick back and hold. So make sure my quad is level. Okay. And then move my right stick back and hold. All right. It's say all done. Cool. Love that Imperial March tone. Star Wars fans, um, that's the that's the coolest thing. So now the quad is ready to roll. You can see um, it's disarm mode. Okay, 
um, it has all the battery power okay um, the um, the OSC the ISS uh, information there so this um, thing is is ready to roll as you can see here okay that is uh, how you set up this uh, board tag I hope you enjoyed the video and it helps you as well thank you for watching